and welcome to Titan Radio Live. I'm Ariana Nava. And I'm Cameron Macedonio. Today we're lucky to have Jackie Lipson in the studio with us today. Be sure to follow Jackie on Instagram at listen to Jackie Lipson. Or check her out on all music platforms listed below. Take, Take it, it away. away. today but I woke up sad and I wanna go back to sleep I don't like to be a flake and I already canceled twice this week just a little sensitive I saw your page on Autostraddle where you do a little bit of interview kind of articles with some fellow artists. Can you tell me about that? Absolutely. Um, I started a column on Autostraddle called Creatives Interviewing Creatives. Um, I thought that there wasn't enough public discourse between artists on the artist side of the industry. And I wanted to kind of talk to other creative folks and get their input on uh, what art they're making and how they're impacting their communities. And um, Autostraddle is a queer uh, publication, and I thought it would be cool to um, highlight queer folks in art. And um, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to talk to queer artists and, uh, and give them a, a platform. Yeah, that's super important. There's too many non-artists telling artists what to do, and especially when it comes to... <laughs> you know, kind of an intersectional kind of, you know, platform. Um, speaking of that, do you have any other exciting projects in the works, music or non-musical? Um, yeah, I have a single coming out in February, and I'll be playing a queer festival in February at The Echo in L.A. Um, it's going to be all queer artists, and I'm on a lineup with a bunch of really amazing bands and artists, and... Um, mostly preparing for that at the, at the moment. Cool, and I noticed that in 2016 you actually were on The Voice. Can you tell us about that experience overall? 
yeah, it was a wild experience. Um, it was my first experience in television, and I will say television is not the music industry. It is definitely the TV industry. It was a really cool learning experience, and like I got to see the behind the scenes of how reality TV works, um, and I got to meet a lot of really great, talented people. Um, I got to stand in front of Carson Daly and see how tall he is in person, so that was fun. I'll never forget it. Um, and it was just a really uh, kind of like boot camp of like being in the in LA and in the music industry and um, in front of millions of people on TV. And then after you appeared on The Voice, you actually moved out to LA. Was that kind of a scary situation for you to go to, not knowing really anyone in LA and kind of just moving out hoping for the best? Absolutely, yeah. I uh, I moved out to LA pretty quickly after leaving The Voice, um, knowing that the music industry is strongest in LA and I really wanted to go, you know, head first uh, into it. And um, I didn't know anyone out here other than people I had met on the show. And that was really my community at the time. And um, it was uh, an adjustment being halfway across the, or all the way across the country. I'm from Connecticut, so. Um, it was it was far, and I'd never been to LA before, and uh, it was I learned a lot uh, coming here, and I'm really grateful to be here. I'm really glad you're able to have that experience, learning and growing within the community. Um, I'm very excited to ask: Is there anything else you have to play for us? I oh yeah, definitely. I have a few more songs. The next one uh, is called "Intrusive Thoughts," right? I think that's the next one, and uh, it's about uh the lack of control that we have in life just being humans we really uh have to uh submit to just life and existing and doing the best that we can um so that's what intrusive thoughts is about i'm excited can we hear yeah thank you
some serotonin Said the veins inside my own were throbbing Just a drop could pull me from the deep end Call me the pharmacist I'm making my own medicine Or just a narcissist Stuck inside my head again So I, I checked out your song called Bully, and I think it has such powerful, like, impactful message I think could resonate a lot with, like, people that just kind of have dealt with that kind of situation, bullying growing up, especially, like, during the pandemic. Um, can you tell us a little more about the inspiration behind your song called yeah. Bully? Um, Bully came from a conversation with the songwriter, um, Matt Lukashevitz. Um, it is really a spotlight on the inner bully that I think a lot of us have. It's, um, you know, I grew up a fat Jewish kid, queer, acne, braces, like all the fun things that you get to deal with when you're a kid. And um, when you grow up with any kind of adversity or you don't fit in in your community, there's bound to be voices in your head that you know, don't say the nicest things to you. And I have had that voice in my head my whole life. And Bully was an opportunity to be able to talk to that voice and say, listen, you're, I don't want to listen to you anymore. Um, and the music video that we did along with it, um, with Mo McFadden, is a, it was a really cool experience for me. It was, I think, the most vulnerable I've been on camera. And um, it really told the story of my own journey with my body and my self-confidence. And um, I was really proud to put that out. And hopefully um, it helps other people who experience that same struggle. Yeah, I think that it especially can have a big influence on like the younger generation who may be still kind of getting used to their body as it's like changing puberty and all that. Um, you actually had your own childhood picture in the music video. Can you tell us like why you wanted to include that specifically? Yeah, um, I look at my childhood photos a lot. Um, being a Leo, I am, you know, a little self-interested sometimes, but... <laughs> I, uh, it, it was, it really kind of the message to me felt like uh, talking to my younger self. Um, it was looking at a photo of myself when I was a kid, like that is the, 
purest form of who you are. When you're a kid, you just, you know, you don't have these insecurities and you don't have these judgments of yourself and you haven't learned to dislike things about you yet. Um, and I think that it was having the picture in the video was a reminder that we all have that inner kid and that that's who we're talking to when we say mean things to ourselves and to remember that we're all gentle and we're all um, vulnerable and um, to be kind to yourself and the kid inside of you. That's so important. And I realize that a lot of your m music is focused on spreading positive messages for the LGBTQ plus community and people who feel like they may be outcasted by the world. Uh, what words of advice do you have for these people that are outcasted by the world? Um, words of advice that I would have for LGBTQ folks or anyone who doesn't feel like they have a place. Um, Find your community where where you can find them. Um, if it's one person that you really connect with or on the internet, you have a message board or a group, um, find the people that get you and that don't um, make you feel like you need to change to be okay. Um, lean into who you are, uh, embrace who you are because no matter how much you try and change that, you are who you are. So find the people that love you for that and love yourself for that because, you know, you have to live with yourself for your whole life. You can't lie about that. I think it's so beautiful that you're kind of trying to be this voice for these these younger generations who are still figuring out who they are and to be more comfortable with themselves. Um, you mentioned you're a Leo. So can you tell me how that kind of influences your creative directive and, like, what you kind of want your music to be based off your zodiac sign? Uh, well, I as a Leo... You know, I love to be front and center. Leos are creative, we are fiery, um, we love to perform, and I think that is pretty obviously goes into being an artist. Um, but I'm also a, a Cancer Rising Virgo Moon, so I think that uh, along with the Leo, you know, putting me up on stage, the Cancer writes the songs and the Virgo looks at it from the outside and is like, fix this, this, and this. Um, so, you know, I'm thankful for my Leo because without her, I'd just be writing songs in my bedroom. Keeps you confident, right? Exactly. Yeah. Gets me out of the house. I can feel you on that one. <laughs> so what's the last song you're going to play for us? The last song I'm going to play is called Alien. It is a brand new song that no one has heard yet. Uh, so I'm really excited to play it. It's about um, feeling like you are otherworldly, I guess, is how I'll describe it. Great, I can't wait to hear it. Thank you. I'm feeling different Strange Like I showed up here by mistake And the moon's made a glitter Just for me same and I'm feeling the distance they ain't starting again that it's just the human condition can relate to swallowing this bitter taste close my
catch lightning in a bottle But I'm not a weatherman This world on full throttle I'll come screeching to a bitter end If I try on the costume Thank you. I really loved your song debut moment. It was lovely. And thank you for tuning into Titan Radio Live. And we want to extend a very special thank you to Jackie Lipson and Vava for being in the studio with us today. Make sure to check them out on their socials and all music platforms listed below. I'm Ariana Nava. And I'm Cameron Macedonio, broadcasting from California State University Fullerton. We'll see you next time. Hey.